as a kid, I think I was, for the most part, a kid. <laughs> I was not some extremely disciplined kid. I was, I was pretty stubborn when it came to certain things, which may be some kind of an early immature form of discipline, you know, just being hard headed. But I think as I got older, I saw the first thing I remember along these lines is seeing a lack of discipline around me. I didn't identify it as people having discipline. I saw like a lack of discipline. I saw weakness. I saw drugs. I saw alcohol. I saw laziness. And I, I started to get after it a little bit, right? A little bit, a little tiny bit. But there was no role models. There was no internet. There was no guidance. I, and I didn't have the sense to to go to the library and, and find Bob Hoffman's book, How to Be Health, Happy, Healthy, and Strong. Like, I didn't know to do that. I didn't have the sense to do that. And so we did some basic things, you know what I mean? Some push-ups, you know? And, and if, the, the push-up workouts that I did when I was 13 years old are laughable. Laughable. I mean, I think if I did... You know, a set of 50 push-ups. I was corner, you know, boom, I'm the man, right? And and we did some silly little, like, kind of barbell, dumbbell, circuit training kind of thing. Now, I always liked the military. I recognized that as a, some kind of a trait of discipline in there. And I looked up to military veterans. I knew one Marine Corps drill instructor. And if you know anything about Marine Corps drill instructors, so now we're talking 85, 86, 87. There wasn't any wars going on. But, you know, when you're a kid, you're just like, oh, he's a Marine Corps drill instructor. He fit the part. He was, like, just perfect Marine Corps drill instructor, which most Marine Corps drill instructors are pretty damn perfect. It's an incredibly, incredibly honed job that's very well choreographed. And very and very structured, and it's a it's a very fine, um, it's real tight. Really, it's yeah. a real tight situation if you're a good Marine Corps drill instructor. Yeah, yeah. And I knew one right when I was a kid, and I just looked at him, he was like a god, right? This guy is a Marine Corps, drill. and and of course he had, I think he had like a '68 Camaro, so he had a muscle <sighs> car. So you know he was, was just dope. like just the man. And so now, so I got that going on, and then. Then there was the hardcore bands that I started listening to, and they seemed to have some kind of, there was something there, right? I recognized something there. I recognized something with Black Flag. I recognized something with a band called Slapshot. I recognized something with the Crow Mags, and I, I saw there was something in there. And I, and I, I, it, it, I couldn't, I can't, I didn't know what it was, but it was some kind of strength. Right, some kind of discipline was in there. I I didn't put it all together though, and there was no sort of unified way to go down this path. It didn't. I didn't find that, and I don't know if I found it. If it, what it would have looked like to me, you know, maybe you could say that that path was the boy scouts right the boy scouts are a disciplined group of individuals that learn how to hike and hunt and i mean so was that it i don't know i maybe i didn't identify that or i didn't have the right personality because i was kind of non-conformist right a little bit you know a little bit of a rebel so i didn't put it all together um and i had some little flashes of like being hardcore with some of the things I did that would be like, you know, kind of getting after it in some really minor way, some yeah. some some minimalistic level of discipline. Mm. But it wasn't until I started training in earnest to join the Navy that I started to what we could recognize now as getting after it a mm. little bit. You know, it's and again, it's nothing compared to what people do now. Mm. What definitely not but you know now we're talking 1989 I was running through marshes and being covered in mud and I was swimming in the ocean and I was doing pull-ups and push-ups and dips and sit-ups and again it's nothing compared to what I do now or even what everybody does now but I was doing what I could with what I knew at the time and I didn't really have any idea of what 
I or really what people in general were capable of. Like, I just didn't know. I didn't know. I never would have thought a good pull-up workout is 500 to 1,000 pull-ups. I, I, I wouldn't have thought that. You know, for me, I did three sets of pull-ups, and I was kind of the man, you know? <laughs> so I just, I just didn't, didn't know. And I guess, I guess you could say I didn't even have, I didn't know to even explore those, those outer limits of what I was capable of, you know, which is a bummer. Um, now, I, also you got to remember, I didn't even know another person that did pull-ups. Like, there, there's, there wasn't like pull-up bars around. There wasn't, uh, you know, I'm out in the woods somewhere. <laughs> in the woods in New England, there's no pull-ups. People, people aren't like, hey, how many pull-ups can you do? I never heard that question. Oh. And I didn't know anybody that swam in the open ocean. I didn't know anybody that did push-up workouts, right? I don't know. I was just in the sticks. And so when I joined the military, I was a blank slate, really, for all practical purposes. And it was really easy. They say, you do this. This is what you do. And you get advanced. This is what you do to be ready. This is what you do. And I realized very quickly that the harder you worked, that the more disciplined you were, the easier your life was, the easier your job was, the easier your day was, the easier your physical activities would get. And when I got into the teams, and really going through buds when you're going through buds and when I finally met guys that were going to buds and we started doing 100 pull-ups and we started doing 150 pull-ups and we started doing 200 pull-ups to work out and then it was like oh wow you can do a lot of stuff that was getting ready to go to buds and then you go to buds and uh, you know you realize that you that people it's not just this individual like um spiritual awakening like no you just realize hey you can do a lot of pull-ups people can it's not that big of a deal and everybody knows you can find that out on the you don't need to go to buds to figure that out you can figure that out just i'm telling you right now <laughs> you know what i mean and all you need is to have that knowledge but i continue to realize that being disciplined all these things waking up earlier and working hard and training hard and keeping your gear squared away and studying the material that we were supposed to know i realized that that work that discipline made life easier and it made us freer it made me free and the more time I spent in the teams the more this came embedded in my head and not only as an individual did I realize this but I realized this very quickly well not very quickly but as soon as I started moving into leadership positions I realized that the more disciplined a squad was or the more disciplined a platoon was the better that squad or that platoon was going to be and that's kind of where the evolution mm. the evolution of it 